Hey guys, I'm Zavana. Welcome back to another episode of Doom Eternal. Where we last left off was we basically made it to this portion of the map. I don't really know exactly what place this is, but it looks like a lair of of where the Doom people meet, I guess, converge. We really we only have like one more fight left, I think. One more big main or one more main story encounter ba battle left of this mission uh i'm not sure how far we are in this game i'd say uh, i have no clue because i i'm playing this blindly for sure i just i did notice this thing down here though um ooh. okay 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 i see that there's some some teleporter thingy mabobbers here. Or not teleporters, the uh, pad pad jumping. Oh. This E, not Q. I press Q instead of E. There we go. Boing. I just like how, uh. <laughs> just like how weirdly cinematic y looking thing it is. Um. I think there's a secret above us, but I just don't know how to get to the thing. I guess maybe we jump pad up to that and just dash all the way to it, maybe? Yeah, let's do this again. No, I think I could have gotten it. I just needed to punch, I think. I did have enough jumps to it, I think. Or dash into it. Yeah, I was... Having a good dash, it's just needing to make sure that I can get that dash through. Okay, here we go. I messed up. My bad. <laughs> I messed up because I actually jumped instead of dashing. I wanted to dash twice first, okay. No! <clears throat> How did I get it the first time correctly? And then this one is like, no, it doesn't want me to do it. God, I was like really up close to it and I could have punched it. But I screwed it up like greatly. There we go. A little tough. Rage. Quake 2. Album found. Sweet. All right, cool. So that's that's that, I guess. Is there any more secret stuff? I think that was it. Yeah. Retrieve your crucible. Oh, is the sword actually belonging to us? And it's just like we're just receiving. We're trying to retrieve the parts for it, I guess. Seems like we're going back to rads again. Ugh. More poisonous stuff as usual again. Because I'm secret something over here, I guess. Predator suit? What? Got it. Thank you. I think we got two enough. We got two points, right? Yeah, we got two suit points now. Yeah, then two points for this is a thing. It reveals auto map. Uh, I'd rather still keep the three. Try to get to three because I feel like... Um, I feel like I really do need to get the last remaining parts and pieces. Alright, we're gonna drop down. It seems like there's a secret something over here. I'm not sure where exactly to land for this. Let me double check. So it's below... So it's like right here, I think. Like right this corner. Oh, oh goodness gracious. Oh, I can't even swim above it. Okay, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Alright, there we go. How do I... Oh, I can't punch in the... I can't even punch in the water? What am I supposed to do? Oh, it's right here. No? What am I supposed to do? I'm so confused. <laughs> I see this thing, but I can't punch. Nor can I shoot. 
All I can do is just keep grabbing this until I don't die, so I don't die. No, I, I have to shoot that. That's the only way to do that. I see a climbable thing, but it's like a little bit below the water, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, the game is not letting me get up out of the... Okay, let me grab this rad suit, uh, rad, rad thing. I think there's a platform up here. I can't jump out of the water. That's weird. I can barely stick my head out of the water as well, which kind of sucks. Yeah, I need to hit that floor. Sure, but... I can't press anything. Yeah, this, is, this just really doesn't want me to click on anything. What is this? What is this? I can't even do anything. Can't even jump out of the water. You can hear me tapping my spacebar right there. It's just like, why is this game preventing me from doing anything? <laughs> Can't even pull out a gun either, so that makes it even weirder. I'm so confused why it does this. I might reload the checkpoint just to see what I'm doing wrong, I guess, but... Oh. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. That is so weird. So essentially, I... Essentially, I dash out of the water and then jump. So it's such a weird mechanic. Oh no, it's that. Okay, I gotta get this quickly. There we go. So I have to dash and jump. And... Uh... There we go. I have to shoot it at like... God, seriously. This is very frustrating. I get it, but... I'm not good at shooting at like... I'm not good with shooting at like such a high speed drop. Or at least like... I'm just not good enough for those kind of things. Alright, here we go again. Really? It's still not working. What is this? Why is it not working? What? What is this? Am I really that bad at shooting or is it just really difficult? <laughs> I'm just so confused by it. <laughs> Back. Thank you. I'm just so confused by the... Oh, can I shoot it like this? Okay, I can. Okay, I don't even need to like grab it. Oh, no, no, my bad. Am I not shooting it? Maybe I'm not shooting it right, I guess. It's not hitting directly. Yeah, usually this would be shootable, I guess. Okay, well, let me grab some rad, I guess. I'm so confused by it. You can't shoot you can't shoot this thing from the from the top either, so it's like it doesn't matter, I guess, as much. Uh, okay, so do I jump here? That's the question. Map, please. It is behind me, sort of, kind of. Ah, there we go, got it. I like how slow-mo rune was actually the way to go for that one, but that's not what I wanted that for. How do I know if uh, if the rune is charged up, I wonder? Hmm, all right, well. Let's see, uh... Where's the stuff? Okay, reload checkpoint. I'm pretty sure the secret's gonna stay with me now because I picked it up, so that's good. 
God, I really, I totally brained out, spaced out with the whole slow mo thing being a thing. So I should have done that earlier. I'm completely stupid. Then it is. It is exactly what I think it is. I'm stupid. That was dumb as rocks for me. I guess. Yeah. I guess I'm. I'm just that stupid. I guess. <laughs> I'm very dumb. I guess that was my fault. I couldn't. I guess for the life of me, I don't remember chain green chain. Is, or the green like some things are considered uh is considered like oh it's opened up up here okay so we need to just jump right there like i didn't realize that it was that that the um oh there's a fight again but we're not even at the spot of where it usually fights right okay, well i mean oh jeez Oh, okay, well, that, that sucks. Oh, let me get you out of the way for some uh, ammo. Thank you. There we go. Checkpoint reached. Okay. Uh, actually, I need to... Oh, jeez. I want to get some armor? No? I guess the armor was not given for me, unfortunately. Uh, is there a thing, anything down here that I can grab a hold of? Yeah, so like overall I just felt like I was very dumb because I guess the mechanics don't really connect in my head that, uh, that I'm supposed to, um, that I'm supposed to dash into the chain. Like that was not obvious enough for me, unfortunately. There's a secret over there. Yeah, that was stupid of me to not think twice that the dashing is a thing. Okay, I guess. Is it... Oh, I thought it was doing it again or something. Okay, I can dash down, right? Okay, so it drains the water. That's obvious. Okay, so yeah, I just needed to get used to like the idea that the uh, it's ridiculous. My bad, you know. I'm just like I'm I'm so disappointed with myself. I mean, I'm probably gonna cut out a few parts of it, I guess, because it's just me doing the thing over and over again. So I'll try my best to like recover some of that progress with that, I guess. Oh, that's I just feel so sad by the fact that I was so stupid. <laughs> I don't think that I accomplished anything from just not knowing what the heck I was supposed to do, I guess. Alright, is there a secret in here, actually? Yes, there's a lore up in the top over here, I guess, but I just can't... Uh, I just can't get to it unless I go up to... Here we go. Yeah, there's a lore over there. Apparently there's a checkpoint here for some reason. Oh jeez, there's a baron of, uh, oh, nope, never mind, not a baron. It's fine. I thought it was a baron, a baron one, but it's just normal looking one. Uh, who hit me? Oh. Give me ammo, please. I just like how I just teleported there. Alright, cool. The guy did. Give me more ammo, please. Ah, uh, why are you guys shooting at me every time? Oh. There we go. Sweet. But yeah, I may- I need to catch up with a little bit of the progress that I lost from the, uh, <laughs> from just literally screwing up on that one little puzzle part. I would call it a puzzle in a sense, in my head. Power up the crucible. Oh, this is the- okay. So th this is the last- Codex for this particular uh, story of the Sentinel stuff. Pause and read, of course. But yeah, I, I need to probably create some time for myself to 
yeah, let's power up the Crucible and then we'll probably end the episode, I guess, somehow. Yeah, it was my fault for not knowing that that was, uh... Yeah, I'm just, like, deeply regretting it. The regretting that I just didn't understand how to solve that puzzle. Well, I learned. Today I learned that... Dash it literally, literally is the best thing against green cracks. But I think it's just I haven't learned it enough or did it enough to remember that the uh, the green cracks are dashed. Or it's just my brain just haven't clicked on that because the rule was not to my head. So I do apologize. Ugh. Oh, hey, mastery token. I don't think there's really anything in my head that I want to get a mastery token on, I guess. Maybe the microwave beam, because I don't think there was... It was not inherently, in, like... Uh, no, no, I have to click on that and then do this. Demons that are detonated by the microwave beam will trigger a concussive blast that will falter nearby enemies. Okay, I guess that's a thing. I mean, I wouldn't know otherwise if it's good or not until I tried more. I tried to use the microwave beam. But it's probably something I won't use enough of, I guess, in a sense. Yeah, that was the... So that was not a Praetor suit point, but the mastery, mastery uh, token. I didn't realize that was the case. All right, power up the Crucible. It's like a lightsaber in a weird way, <laughs> but it's not. It is cool to, like, absorb lava to create a laser sword out of it. Kinda insane how it works. Are we gonna throw carnage with a sword? Sure you want to try out your weapon first before we leave. Really? Oh, we're actually just jumping into the thick of it with a sword? Okay, crucible. The crucible is a melee weapon of extraordinary power. Press V to unsheath and then left click to cleave. I love how that rhymes there. Each demon costs one pip. Replenish the crucible energy with crucible pickups found throughout the world. Sh oh, that's shit. Oh, I see. It just auto... The one pip is when I kill. Not, not so much as using it, but... Oh, Okay, I need to get the points. Yeah, it's just like using it is like one thing. I can't tell. Oh, I only get three, I guess, I can hold on to. Oh, there we go. Uh, good. I need to like unsheathe it at the right time to. Oh, no, not the right one to kill with. That's fine, I guess. Oh, there's another one there. Ooh, okay. This is tough because it's like, you have to like, use it. But then you have to use it kind of sparingly a little bit, I think. No, not that guy. I, oh, okay, not that guy either. I shouldn't have used it on that guy. I need to find the more tougher enemies to eliminate. Uh, Baron Hell, yeah, nice. I had to save the uh, pain element to for last. I, guess. Oh, I need some more ammo. I guess. What is that? What was that? <laughs> that thing was like standing there, not doing anything for like good moments. Oh no! No, jeez, not you again. Not empowered. Oh jeez. Okay, I gotta like. Oh no! Oh no! 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 no. Oh jeez. I'm gonna lose extra health. Oh. No! Ah. Sheesh. It's gonna be tough, isn't it? <laughs> this is the worst because it tutorializes it, but doesn't give you enough time to realize what you need to do. Yeah, like, I don't get enough... I don't get enough room to, like, really use it. Okay, I need to find the really, really annoying enemies 
There we go. I need to find the really annoying enemies to kill with it, or else I'm gonna screw myself over. Yeah, because I need to be careful and be like... Oh, okay, I don't know if I sliced them up correctly or not. I couldn't see them. Yeah, I wanna, again, save the pain elementals. Oh no, mm, oh look, actually that's, that's kinda okay. Nope, thank you very much. Yeah, I need to save the sword for like the very tough end of these things. Nope, don't you dare, please. I just like how I'm just teleporting back and forth around. Yep. It seems like these things are spawning, I guess. Nope. Yeah, I only got three pips of it seems like. Alright. Oh. Oh, I forgot the slow-mo was on. <laughs> oh. Hey, challenge done! Woo! Alright, cool. Actually, let me change my rune out. <laughs> I just realized I didn't change my rune out for the thing at all. Alright, here we go. Normal game. Normal gameplay again. Goodbye. Alright. I think that was the end of the level. Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't want to expend my uh, crucible too much. Okay, yeah, that's the weapon point, so that means that this is the end of the encounter, in a sense. They don't deem these guys as, like, big threats at all, it seems. Alright, cool. Got my ammo back, I needed. That was, uh, that was pretty great. But at the same time, I felt like I didn't... I, I felt like I didn't get enough out of the Crucible usage, I guess. But it really did cut through the pain of whatever I needed to handle. Alright, let's get through this portal. And that's the end of the level. Reforge and refunded. Or refueled, sorry. Reforge and refueled. Achievement unlocked. Alright, let's see the combat. Got everything except for Slayer Gate, obviously. I'm saving the Slayer, Slayer Gate for last, as I said, so. Challenge done. Fantastic. Got a Sentinel battery for it. Oh, I missed the secret. Oh. I totally forgot this fast travel that I just didn't get yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. My bad, my bad. I forgot about the, the extra collectibles. But I'll get them in the later stages, I guess. Or I might get them on my own. Either or. That was a lot of level ups there. Alright, continue. Fortress of Doom. I think this is the last Fortress of Doom. Uh... Burdak is the Maker's home. It is not accessible to anyone. No human or sentinel has ever set foot in their dimension. Mm -hmm. You can use the Maker's Origin Factory in the Hell City of Necrovol to pass through the void. Got it. Once there, you will not be able to leave on your own. But Vega can create an exit portal for you. Hey! That is why you must bring Vega through the void with you to Erdak. Understood. I'm detaching myself from the ship's systems. Oh! Processing. Total transfer to external drive complete. Wow. They really are gonna take the risk of like leaving this ship vulnerable. Vega is no longer connected to your ship. I will reconfigure the portal to Necrobol for you. Okay. Alright. Do you require anything else before we begin our journey to Burdak? You will not be able to return until the mission is complete. Last chance. This is your last opportunity to unlock items and focus on the or explore the fortress until your mission is complete, which I kind of assume that much. Once you are ready to leave, configure uh, the, t the teleporter. Alrighty. So I'll leave this for myself next episode. We're going to make our grandstand of unlocking things in the next episode. And then see where it takes us for the next uh, set of episodes. So the next mission is the final mission. Mission 10, I believe this is coming up to be. Uh, mission 9 was what we just finished in the ball. Uh, 
to Bodna Mold or something like that. Deeply saddened by that one little scene, but I'm hoping to cut it down by like 10 minutes or so like that. I, I think I spent more than like half the episode or 20 minutes of the episode, maybe even 30 minutes almost, full episode of just trying to get through that level uh, or that little puzzle. But I hope that I that fighting and doing this thing made up for that that loss of time for that one little puzzle, which I didn't really, which I kind of deeply regret going through and not being smart enough to, to realize that dashing through the chain. I'm going to keep, I'm going to take that with me to the next set of like episodes until I figure, until I remember that dashing through the chain is what breaks the chain and I just keep forgetting about it and it's just disappointing that I did that. I feel like there could have been an option to just like shoot the thing, even if it wasn't the, the solution to uh, unlocking the thing, but uh, the developers weren't that open-minded about having letting players kind of skip the puzzle and kind of do the the jump do a thing because i i know i hit the thing properly and she it could have cheesed it but they didn't choose to let you cheese it instead they rather let you force forcefully do the puzzle the right way which kind of disappoints me a little bit i feel like games like dishonored and prey has opened up my mind to how games should be open-ended a little bit because it, there's a there's a possibility of solving it the way that the players would solve it it should be allowed because they didn't do it the wrong way they they got the idea when they saw it just the, the way that they did it isn't the way that the developers wanted it kind of felt like the developers held too much of a hand onto the player's uh, choice of action but anyways thank you guys for watching i'll end it here for now and uh, i'll see you guys next time and uh, hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We can actually want to watch this. Roz, out. Ah.